Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to watch Miss Universe 2019 live because to be honest I actually skipped my work today just to watch Miss Universe because I just can't bear to watch it in replay because for a country like the Philippines where the Miss Universe news is everywhere there's no way that you won't dare watch it live. So here I am, absent and watching Miss Universe 2019 live. So I will be reacting to every episode of the Miss Universe 2019 pageant live. It's actually starting now, but I'll just skip it to the most important part. So I'll just cut it off and hopefully I'll do well in it. And I will not upload it right away, not unless I can, I can find some clips that I can show here as well while reacting to it. Let's begin! And here we are with our first five candidates from the America, from the Asia Pacific in Africa. I have actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from my final prediction. So I'm very excited who they are going to be. South Africa is the first candidate. Well, not really a surprise. She's in my prediction, so I'm fine with her as long as they are in my list. So I'll be checking South Africa here. She's beautiful. I love her smile. Wow. As usual, representatives from South Africa are really amazing when it comes to public speaking. So, not really a huge surprise why she made it. Second. India, Indonesia, Kenya, Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam. Indonesia, not a surprise as well. She is in my list. And of course, she is in my 11 to 20 in my placement. But as what I have said in my commentaries, I think there's a possibility that she can still go higher than this. Wow. She speaks very, very well. <laughs> I love her. Love Indonesia. <laughs> well, third spot, India, Kenya, Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam. Viet I'm so, so happy for Vietnam because this is their second placement in a row after Hehenia last year. So this is a well-deserved placement. And girl, she's walking on stage like she owned it. Oh, she reminds me of Hehenia in a way when she speaks. Okay, so Steve Harvey is a translator now. Her speaking skills has improved a lot compared to when she was crowned. So I'm very, very proud to hear that. Congratulations to Vietnam! So I have three over three already, so I'm very happy. India, Kenya, Philippines, Thailand. No way! My god! I, I mean... I'm not really shocked in a negative way, but I'm very happy that Nigeria got a placement. You, you know, I have been talking about her before, that she's got an amazing backstory, a tragic but inspiring one about her mother. And wow, I'm so happy that Nigeria got a placement. I like her. She speaks very, very well. But... I am not sure about other candidates from Africa, like Kenya, Tanzania, Sierra Leone, who did well also and is in many lists of favorites. Nigeria isn't, based on what I have seen, so this could definitely bring so much shake-up, but I'm very happy for Nigeria. She deserves it. Wow, last spot. Ta Thailand. I, of course, I'm happy for Thailand. But, oh my gosh. We don't have Kenya, India. My goodness. And Philippines. Oh, Philippines is definitely in the wild card yet again. Oh my, I can. Let's focus on Thailand first because she is super beautiful. I just can't get over. India, oh my gosh. 
Don't tell me they will be ignoring India this year. It would be unbelievable. Thailand speaks very, very well. Thailand's good. And this is why I placed her as first one up. Because even though her preliminaries are quite disappointing for all of us, she, I still believe that she might pull a Demi Lee Nell Peters feet who disappointed us during the preliminaries, but in the end, still won the title. Because I believe, I believe Thailand got a lot of magic in their sleeves still. So congratulations to our top five from the Asia Pacific in Africa. So far it's a very very satisfying top five and I'm very happy for Nigeria. She really deserves that. India, Kenya, and Philippines. If Kenya will make it, which is I think could be a possibility because there's a lot of people who place her on their prediction, I think I think this would be a great number of African representatives in the top 20, so I'll be waiting for that. And for our second batch, we are picking five from the uh, European region. So my favorites are Albania, France, Iceland, Ireland, and Netherlands. I have only five from this region. In my final prediction, Albania! Not a surprise, she is in my list. So I'm very happy for that. Well deserved for Albania. And she's super beautiful. What a question. I mean, she's super, super pretty, especially when the close up. And she speaks very well, which of course I expected because I think she's been in the United States for studying. I think it, based on what, what I have remembered. But She's good, really good. And I'm very happy to see Albania back again. Come on, we have I, I have France, Iceland, Ireland, Netherlands. Ireland? France, wow. Of course, I still I have her on my list as well. You cannot ignore France. That slip was an advantage for her. I just love her hair. She is serving us the classic French beauty. <laughs> I love the question. Wow. Fish eyeball? Uh, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I think the English language with a French accent sounds so beautiful in my ears. I love hearing that. Happy to over two. Which is weird because usually for Europe, it's really a scramble. Iceland, Ireland, Netherlands. Woo! Iceland! Well, it's hard to determine because Iceland and Ireland are standing beside each other and they both have these huge curly hairs. Iceland! I'm happy. And of course, she looked very young, which is our commentaries most of the time. Wow, her smile is really her asset every time. <laughs> I mean, when you look at Steve Harvey's reaction, I'm not sure if you're going to laugh with it, or you'll be pissed, or I don't know. Woo! Three over three is kind of unbelievable. Ireland, Netherlands. What? I mean, wow, well deserved again. I have posted after my prediction that Croatia is in my possible spoiler. Wow, I did not. I mean, I kind of expected, but not that much. So happy for her. And she's stunning because she really improved a lot. That is the best speech so far. I love that. Wow, great, great message from Croatia. And her smile is very beautiful. Good job. But one spot left. Ireland, Netherlands, and the camera is on Belgium. So, who I think is a possible spoiler as well. Ireland, Netherlands. 
No! Whoa! I don't know what to say. Portugal. I mean, I I'm not sure if you have watched my reviews before, but I have said Portugal really surprised me after arrival. But getting a placement is wow. Oh my gosh. I have to listen to her speak first. Oh, she sounded very, very sweet. And that usually works a lot in Miss Universe. She's very, very sweet. But my gosh, Ireland! Well, I feel sorry for those who are betting on Ireland because I believe she will still make it, but if it's in the wild card, I don't think anyone in the wild card will win based on the track record. So, Ireland and Netherlands. I'm not sure if they could put two Europeans from wild card, but let's be hopeful. Oh my gosh. I'm very excited for the Americas though, because this is going to be the real blood fight. And of course, three over five, which is I think good for the European region. And now we are going to pick, I mean, they will be announcing the top five who makes it from the Americas. So from this list, I have Brazil, Colombia, Chile, Dominican Republic, Mexico, Peru, Puerto Rico, and United States. Woo! Of course. You can never dare put Puerto Rico in the wild card. She is a predicted winner, so I'm very happy to see her here. Wow. Those cheers are insane, and I am cheering with them. Madison is gorgeous. That is already a sign of a sigh of relief for me. I mean, of course, for someone like us who are really making predictions, we really have to focus on our winners. So now that she is in the top five for the Americas, I can truly feel that she has a chance of winning. She's not in the wild card. I have the privilege of interviewing Madison before, so this is such... I mean, this is not really a surprise to me because she is really a strong, strong speaker. Mm, that's beautiful. And that's really a speech of a front runner. Ooh, I have Puerto Rico. Four more Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Mexico, Peru, USA. Wow! I mean, I'm very happy because Peru is in my final prediction, but I did not... I mean, she... I don't know. I'm just happy that she is here. I love Peru. I really wish she could go far because I want to see... I wish she, if, she, if ever she'll go far, I wanted to see a change in evening gown, just like what she showed during her national pageant. She was just amazing in swimsuit and evening gown. Oh, I, what I love about her is she really speaks with so much sincerity and she doesn't sound like she's pretending or something. I just love that. Three more. And I have two over two, which is good. Brazil. Wow! You know, I am so proud that she made it. I mean, she is ranked 20 in my final prediction, so of course... I have the hopes that she might not make it or might be replaced, but I still considered her to be deserving of the top 20, so wow, so happy for her. And I am very, very thankful that I saw one of her live video in Instagram that she spoke very, very well with so much confidence and fun personality. Just like this interview, that actually was a very helpful video. That made me realize that she deserves to be in the top 10. I kind of assume that she will be giving the same vibe in the interviews. <sighs> very thankful. And of course, very deserving. Three over three. Doing well so far. In total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten over thirteen. It's good. It's so good.
Yeah, I love her energy. Beautiful. Okay. Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Mexico, USA. Two more. Brazil, Chile, Mexico. Wow. I know she will make it and she deserves to. That mopping during her swimsuit preliminaries was terrible. And I am glad that she made it. Thankfully. This is the first time that I've heard Mexico speak in English. Now I think the, the ranking that I gave her is too low. See, they're not looking for a model, they're looking for a role model. Wow, Mexico. Oh my god. She could do very, very well here. That was a very, very strong message. Oh my god. Why did they have placed her so low? But I'm happy though. Because she made it. As long as she's in my top 20. One more. Brazil, Chile, Colombia, USA. Oh, she's not in the wild card. Hmm, I don't know what they're trying to pull here. But, of course, I'm very happy for USA. I'm not really a huge fan of hers before, but as we go along with the competition, that's where I truly realized that she really deserves to do very, very well. She was amazing in the preliminaries. She spoke very well. She speaks very, very well. And I'm glad she's bringing the hair back. USA deserving and wow I'm not sure if you noticed but I've everyone from the Americas are in my list which is surprising this is the first time actually I'm s wow but Brazil Colombia imagine the people who predicted them to win even Chile oh my god so we only have five left for the wild cards, and we still have Ireland, Nether. I'm, I mean, I might skip Netherlands, but I don't know. She could still do it. Brazil, I think. Chile, Colombia, India deserves to place. This was hilarious. Oh my gosh! There's still a lot in the wild card. Philippines. Kenya, wow. Someone might be axed from them. Wow. But so far, very, very good. I got 5, 4, 3, 12 over 15. So happy. So I'm just excited for the wild card. And we are here with the wild cards now. I'm still sticking with my 8. That wasn't cold yet. Philippines, of course. They cannot ignore Philippines. Um, she's not really someone that I see winning back to back, but I think she deserves to be there. Or could, as what I've said in my prediction, she could even be in the top five. So very proud for Philippines. I'm not really shocked because I know she will make it. But she's in the wild guard, so not really raising my hope my hopes high that much. Unless, of course, they will be making a big move and crown someone from the wild card. I think she's beautiful, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't find her intro a bit interesting. I mean, well, I still liked her though. Of course, she's in my top five, so, but I don't feel that much enjoyment in that interview. Second, Kenya, India, who else? Colombia, Chile, Brazil, Netherlands, Ireland. Seven. No. 
Venezuela? I mean, of course, she gave a solid preliminaries, but I could not... You are kidding me, Venezuela. I did not expect her to speak English. Oh my god. Honestly, if I knew beforehand that she speaks English very well, she would have made it in my top 20. This is why closed door interviews is such a big deal. That's four miss for me now, but it's okay. Ireland, Netherlands, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, India, Kenya. It, it, yes, I loved India. I mean, there's a lot of people commenting on my YouTube channel about India, so I'm pretty sure that they are very, very happy that India made it. I mean, she's in the wild card, but I still hope she could go as far as top 10 or just get a runner-up placement possibly oh India is very beautiful I, I'm so happy I'm so happy that India broke the drought <laughs> um Steve that facial reaction again I don't know I mean, I'm not sure if you noticed but Steve's I mean never mind let's ignore that um, Ireland, Netherlands, Brazil, Chile, Brazil! Yay! I'm so happy for Brazil. I mean, of course, IMG loves Brazil. They always do. But seriously? Wild card? I mean, wow. She's beautiful. And I love that she pulled the straight hair. St short but straight hair once again. Because as what I've said, I don't like her hair during the preliminaries. Just love her energy and personality as well. Good job, love Brazil. I mean, one more. Wow, I still have Kenya, Colombia, Chile. I wow, Ireland, Colombia. It's definitely. Col wow, Ireland! I mean, I'm happy for Colombia, of course, because she is in my top five. But Ireland, I don't know what happened. Netherlands, Chile! Wow, even Kenya, who got a lot of hype after the preliminaries. Wow, I mean, I mean let's see. I'm happy because everyone in my top five made it, but wow. I feel sad for Chile. They've been consistently sending strong candidates. I think this year is the strongest. Still ignored. I don't know what's the problem there. Ireland, I still could not believe it. Colombia got a great personality. I know she'll go far. I mean, overall, I'm very, very happy with my top 20. I mean, 1, 2, 3, four, I think I got 17. Sixteen. Wow! 16 over 20. I think this is one of the highest that I got this year. And imagine, this is a very, very competitive year, so I could not believe I got 16. Wow! So satisfied. I'm so happy with the top 20 overall. I mean, the rest that didn't make it are not really in my top 5, so I'm sad for them. But I'm very satisfied with the top 20 overall. Nigeria, I'm very, very happy for her. Congratulations. 